If you've received a document that needs to be signed, we do have an application called CAMI within our district. You may find the icon in your extension toolbar, or you might have to click the puzzle piece to find that extension. So here it says CAMI for Google. If you want that to appear, you click the pin, and now I have that CAMI app right there. So anytime you click that, it will log you into CAMI. If it's your first time using CAMI, you need to log in. Um, so in this case, my session has expired. So I just log in, click the account. And if it's your first time, um, it will ask you all these things about Google Classroom and Google Drive. But CAMI is something that you can trust. So feel free to click that allow button and it will sign you in to CAMI. So now that we know where CAMI is, you can see that you can open from Google Drive, OneDrive, or your computer. Now, I can't, I guess there isn't an email address for this account, but if you've gotten an email that has something like a schedule that I need to sign, I could of course download this and then upload it by clicking on my computer and finding the file in there. If you open it like this, I do have that option to open with and CAMI is one of those first options. So when you do that, it will load that document into CAMI. Once it has loaded, you might need to run text recognition or not. It just depends how you would like to use that. And on the side here, we have some different tools. So if you need to sign this, you would click on that signature button and you have the option to upload an image, draw a signature or draw your signature on your phone. So in this one, I'm going to just click draw signature. I'm lucky that I have a touch screen so I can put my signature here. If you like the way it looks, you can keep it or you can click clear. You can of course cancel if you've chosen incorrectly, but I can upload that signature and now I can select a signature to insert. So if I wanted to do um, another signature, Click upload when you're satisfied. So now I have two signatures I could choose from. So I'm gonna choose the cursive one, click insert, and it will follow your mouse. So wherever you need to put it, you just click to drop it in. I'm going to save this to Google Drive just so that it's always there. Now it's saved. I can also download this and it will download with annotations. I can change the name if I need to. So example, begin export, and then it starts downloading this file. So if I needed to add another signature, I just choose that one, insert, drop it in. Don't forget to put the date. And once you have that download, if you are in your email, it's pretty easy to just drag it. And this works in your Outlook account and your Gmail, which technically we don't really have, but that's how you can send that back to your teacher. I hope you found this quick tutorial on Kami helpful. If you have any other questions or suggestions, please let us know. Thank you.